Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Cameron and today I am filming my makeup collection and storage video. In my giveaway, I asked people to leave video recommendations and that was very popular. This collection isn't anything crazy. It's just stuff that I've been picking up for like some time now. It's taken me a long time to get to where I am now with the stuff that I have. Like I've said in a bunch of my other videos, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not a beauty guru. This is where I do my makeup. I have these Alex Draws from Ikea and then I have makeup brushes and other stuff over here. I don't have a desk dedicated to makeup because I use my desk for editing. So I just put it on top of of my dresser and then I use this chair that I'm sitting on right now so I guess I'll just move you guys a little closer on top I just have a picture of me and my boyfriend some flowers that he got me the other day and behind both of these I have an Xbox I know you guys are probably thinking like why do you have an Xbox but I play Xbox so I have a white Xbox we'll just jump right into the makeup aspect of this I just, like literally don't know how to show this I'm so confused This is the first draw, and here I keep my mascaras, my blushes, and lip products. I guess we'll start with mascara. This is my favorite mascara, the Roller Lash from Benefit. Tar, the knockoff Better Than Sex, then I have actual Better Than Sex. A small one, another Better Than Sex, more from Benefit, more from Tar. A lot of these are sample sizes because if you've been watching me for a while, you'll know that I'm really into sample size stuff. Tar, I have a lot of these because I get these a lot in my Ipsy bag, these little ones from Tar. Then back here this is my favorite chapstick ever and then i have a jeffree star lip scrub his are really good if you're ever looking to buy one bliss tex carmex another drugstore lip scrub and then i just have little chapsticks in here then for blush i have color pop i just got this one in my ipsy bag it's called space case tarte urban decay nyx a bunch of ones this is like a blush stick but a lot of them are travel size because i get a lot of my blushes in my ipsy bags so that's the first draw The second draw, this is my liquid lipsticks, lip glosses, lip liners, and lippy sticks. So as you can see, I have a lot. It's kind of unorganized, but only because I don't know how to organize this. I keep all my lip liners in there, which is mostly Kylie Cosmetics, and then Huda Beauty, Tarte. So just a bunch of lip liners. So we have things like Fenty Beauty lip glosses, Winky Lux, Kylie Cosmetics, Sugar. I don't know where this is from. <laughs> this came in my Ipsy bag. It's like the cutest packaging ever. You just twist it and the lipstick comes out the top. So we have Kat Von D, a liquid lip, Tarte liquid lips, Jeffree Star, Kylie Cosmetics, NYX. I just got this month in my Ipsy bag. It's a lip gloss from MAC. More Kylie Cosmetics, Huda Beauty, more Huda Beauty, Sephora, more Kat Von D. This I got from my best friend Olivia. This is also from Olivia from Urban Decay. It's a red lip gloss. Dose of Colors. That's another brand that I really, really like for liquid lipsticks. More Kylie Cosmetics. The Coco Collection. More ColourPop. Another lip gloss from MAC. A Tarte lip gloss. Over here we have, this is like a Bobbi Brown lipstick thing, but I've never used it before. And then I have lippy sticks like this. This is a, a lippy stick from Hourglass, a lippy stick from ColourPop, another one from Tarte. Um, don't know how to pronounce this, but this is also a lippy stick. I got this one in my Ipsy bag and the color is like something I would never have purchased myself. It's so vibrant. If you guys want an in-depth tour of this draw, leave a comment down below and I will absolutely go through every single thing in this draw. For this draw, this is my foundation, concealer, and then here I have all my eyeliners, eyebrow stuff right here, Tarte Maracuja Oil. This is primers. We'll start with foundations and concealers. I keep them in the same spot because like I don't have that much. I have both versions of the Tarte Shape Taint foundations. I have matte and the hydrating one in two different shades because I'm an idiot. So I have this one in light neutral and this one in fair beige. So I have the Born This Way foundation from Too Faced. I have it in this shade Snow. And then in here, I have a lot of these because these are my favorite. This one I pretty much finished this summer. Your Skin But Better CC Plus Cream from It Cosmetic and this is in the shade Medium when I was tan and then I have three other ones. I got it in Fair. These are both in the shade Light and then in here I have just some free samples from Tarte and then I have Tarte Creaseless Concealer and then I have two Shape Tape Concealers and I also have this Tarte Foundation and it's in the shade Fair Beige. A Smashbox Studio Skin 24 hour waterproof concealer. This is the Tarte Clay Foundation Stick. I am in the shade Light Beige. The Age Rewind Concealer from Walgreens. I've pretty much used the entire thing. And then I have a big version of it. The Age Rewind Eraser. 
This is also from Walgreens. It's Maybelline. And I have a BB cream from Maybelline that I get at Walgreens. Concealer from It Cosmetics and a concealer from Hey Honey. Moving on to eyeliner. I guess we'll just start with this because it's the only pod I have, but it's from Tarte and it's blue. I've never used it before because I've never used blue eyeliner. My holy grail ones. So as you can see, it's Kat Von D. This was my favorite one. It was her liquid eyeliner and I freaking love this, but they don't make it anymore. And then her tattoo liner is amazing. The absolute best eyeliner I have ever used. I have a liquid eyeliner from NYX. And then this is from Ulta Beauty. It's just like a highlighter eyeliner stick. An Ulta eyeliner. An Iris Beauty. I have a review on this eyeliner coming very, very soon. I love it. I cannot wait to talk about this brand with you guys. Then I have ColourPop. This is actually a dark blue eyeliner. And then I have a green one. This one I got in my Ipsy bag. The one side of it is a tattoo. It's like a star. <laughs> Another tattoo liner. A white one. And then the back I have all eyebrow stuff right here I have a color pop brow color that's what they call it I got it in black and brown then I have these two eyebrow sticks color clay tinted brow gel from Tarte another eyebrow pencil from Iris Beauty cannot wait to review this brand for you guys and then I have three from Anastasia Beverly Hills which these are by far my favorite am I doing something wrong because the ends of mine always break like the brush side of it and then I have the brow gel a sample of the Anastasia brow gel. For primers, I have a MAC Prep and Prime, the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Too Faced Hangover Primer, and then another Too Faced Hangover Primer, a Smashbox one, which this is like the best one out of all of them in my opinion. One that I just got in my Ipsy bag, Spotlight Illuminating Primer, an Iconic London Primer. This was a free sample from Ulta. I think. A Travel Size Smashbox Primer, an NYX Primer. And then next draw, my translucent powders, powder foundations, bronzers, eye pigments, and then back here, I just have a contour palette from Iconic London. I keep it back there because it keeps these in place. We'll start with translucent powders. So I have one from Tarte, Naked Cosmetics, Luna by Luna, Derma Blend, Peach Perfect from Too Faced, two Laura Mercier ones. This is the Your Skin But Better CC Plus Airbrush Perfecting Powder. This one from Tarte, Creamy Powder Foundation, Fair Minerals Original Foundation in Fairly Light. Then back here, probably don't like the Hula Bronzers. I don't really know why I have four of them. I just keep buying them because they're so good. This one, that's from the drugstore. It's so used that I can't even see where it's from anymore. Then I have this one from, I don't know where it's from actually because it's kind of come off. These two from Tarte. They're both in Park Ave Princess. Then I just have two foundation sticks for contouring. A travel size hula bronzer, which I love. A Bahama Mama one from the Bomb Cosmetics. And I have this one. It was from Ipsy. And then for eye pigments over here, eyeshadow primer from Urban Decay. Stila or Stila, I don't know what they're called, but I think they're Stila eye pigments. It's just like a little highlighting stick, but it's for your eyes. This from ColourPop, it's the Supernova Shadow in the shade Firecracker. And then I just have a Milk Makeup Eye Pigment. And then I just have my Too Faced Glitter Glue. This is my highlighter draw. As you can see, I really hate highlighters. I barely have any. Anyways, so we'll just jump right into it. So right over here, two Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kits. The Tartis Pro Glow from Tarte. The Kylie Cosmetics Wet Set. It really does feel like it's wet. It was definitely way too overpriced. A Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. Glow Pro Stellar Highlight. And it's blue and it's super, super pretty. This small highlighter strobe stick from Milk Cosmetics. Mana Glow Shimmer Lotion. I pretty much used the entire thing, so it's almost empty. I really, really like this. This dewy stick. It's just a dewy stick with shimmer in it. Then I just have this Gleam Team from Tarte. It looks like this. And then this side of it is a liquid highlighter. This Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer from Glam Glow. A Tartis Pro Glow. This Strobe Cream from MAC. A little glow serum, a liquid illuminator from Ulta Beauty, and then I have a big version of it, a NYX liquid illuminator, a liquid highlighter from Becca, this really really tiny highlighter stick from Hourglass, a highlighter from Laura Mercier, a highlighter from Anastasia Beverly Hills, 
the pressed powder highlighter collection from Kylie Cosmetics. The Alexis Ren ColourPop collab. I just realized that it's broken, so I'm going to be really careful when I open this, and then I have to go dump it. The bronzer side of it, bro. <laughs> this part was a bronzer, and this side was a highlighter. I have two Kylie Cosmetics highlighters in French Vanilla and Salted Caramel. The best highlighter ever from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, Ice Cold. I have a King Tut, but I have no freaking idea where it went. This mini size Becca highlighter in Capri Coast, and it's just a bronze type highlighter. This is my favorite. I wear this one every single day. This is the Champagne Pop mini travel size one from Becca. I love this highlighter so much. The reason I use the mini one is because I have the regular size Champagne Pop. Somebody broke it! And then I have this one from Tarte. These two from the Bomb Cosmetics, I got these both in my Ipsy bags. This tiny one from Winky Lux. A loose highlighter by Kai Cosmetics. I love this. It's been in like five of my giveaways because I just think it's so good. This one's also from Kylie Cosmetics in the shade Lightning Bolt. And I have another loose highlighter from ColourPop in Sugar Trap. Then I just have these two from ColourPop. This one, I got my Ipsy bag from Luna by Luna. So this is another one of my favorite draws. It's my palettes draw. These are the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palettes. This is Ring the Alarm. This is Dark Magic. And I have a Z palette where I just hold most of these are ColourPop. Then I have another empty palette from ColourPop. And it's just carrying the ones that didn't fit in the other one. This palette from Morphe looks like this. Then I have this Huda Beauty palette. As you can see, this one in the middle, I liked a lot. The white peach palette from Too Faced looks like this. Then I have the Naked palette, Naked 2, Naked 3. The Soft Glam palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Super pretty. The Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills, which is where I fell in love with Bonfresco. The Jaclyn Hill palette. Marvelous Mauves from Dose of Colors. The Smashbox one. The She Palette from ColourPop. Tartlet Palette in Bloom by Tarte. Another ColourPop Palette. The Huda Beauty Palette Desert Dusk. The Carly Bible Palette. A Winky Luck Coffee Palette, which actually freaking smells like coffee. It's the weirdest thing ever. I don't know what this brand is called because I don't know how to pronounce it, but I have a palette from them. All of these come out, which I think is really cool. Two palettes from Tarte. The Kylie's Diary Palette. Take Me on Vacation Palette from Kylie Cosmetics. This I got in my Ipsy bag. A Color Pop one. This packaging is adorable. The Naked Basics Palette by Urban Decay. This one by Maybelline. For this draw, I just have single shadows, and then I have all my lipsticks. I'm not going to go too in detail on this draw, only because there's so much and it would take me forever. But again, if you want a detailed tour of this draw, let me know and I will definitely do that. But I have all my lipsticks. I have like NARS, Marc Jacobs, my MAC ones, Urban Decay. And then I have three Dose of Colors Ideal Duos. This is in the shade Disco. So the primer is the same shade as the loose pigment. Unscrew the bottom, and it's the loose pigment, which is freaking beautiful and then i have it also in envy and shell and then i just have single eyeshadow so like this one from tarte i have these ones from mac and then i have smashbox ones but i've made videos swatching all of the ones from ColourPop. if you guys want to check those out if you guys want an in-depth version of all the lipsticks let me know and i will do that i don't want this video to be too too long this draw, literally all miscellaneous things that I don't know where to put. All of these over here are face masks. Right here I have falsies. These are body washes that I got from Ulta. It's like spend X amount of money and get something for free. This is what I got for free. These are bath bombs. Then I have my Biovin Barcelona magnetic mask. My Alia skin one is my go-to. This is my favorite mask. I'm almost finished with it. Back here I just have a bunch of empty palettes from ColourPop. I'm thinking of maybe giving these away. Then we've made it to the last draw, guys, which is my Ipsy bag draw. As you can see, I've been subscribed for a long time, so I just, I keep all of them down here.
that's everything in here. So I just wanted to briefly show you guys what I keep up here. I just have two Urban Decay setting sprays. Then I have my Belief Aqua Bomb. Shout out to Nicole Cena. Then I have my two Mario Badescu sprays. I just keep my beauty blenders in a mason jar. I have my makeup remover in here. I have my Pond face moisturizer. My colored contacts, which I will be talking about these in an upcoming video. Very excited about that. I have my MAC Cleanse Off Oil. Rainforest of the Sea Radiance Drops from Tarte. Another Urban Decay setting spray. Back here, I just keep all my makeup brushes. These are like the ones that I don't use too often. And then I just have my eyelash serum. I'll be talking about this as well in an upcoming video. This is what I use to make my eyelashes grow. In here, I hold all of the brushes I actually use in them. Right here, I keep my Max Fix Plus. I have two Versali Unicorn Tears. I have two of the Versali Rose Gold Elixirs. I have my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Ready Set Radiant Skin Mist from Tarte. My Peach Mist from Too Faced. Primer Water from Smashbox. That was everything in my makeup collection. I know this was a pretty long video. If you made it to the end of the video, please comment down below what your favorite thing from the collection was. Obviously, I'm very grateful to be able to have all of this stuff, and that's why I always try to give back to everybody. If you guys like this video, give it a like up. If you want to subscribe, you can. You don't have to, but you should. If you guys want to enter my giveaway, it'll be first link in the description down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. I'm out of here.